G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds you well. Today we're going to look at applying adjustments to an image within Adobe Bridge. Now, this isn't something that you would normally associate Adobe Bridge with. However, it is an option that you can uh, use. Now, you're not actually creating the edits in Adobe Bridge. You're simply applying them from one image to the next. As you can see uh, on the screen at the moment, I have two images that I photographed of Brisbane at sunrise from up at Mount Cutha with some beautiful low-lying cloud and uh, fog, unfortunately probably some smog as well, uh, with the city uh, as a silhouette with the sun rising behind it. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open up the slightly wider image, open with camera raw, excellent, and I'm just going to apply some very quick changes that don't need to be anything uh, super exciting. I'm just going to straighten up that horizon just a little bit. There we go. It wasn't out too much, but it's enough to be noticeable. And we're going to add some vibrance and some saturation. There we go. I'm just going to adjust that tint a little bit as well. There we go. Excellent. All right. I'm really happy with that edit. As just as a very quick edit, but uh, happy with how it looks. We're going to hit done. And you can see now that that edit has been applied in Adobe Bridge. Uh, obviously, the image looks different to the other one, uh, even though the exposures are both the same. One two fiftieth f nine at ISO one hundred. Um, but with those edits now applied, the image on the left, you can see it has those symbols up the top there that image edits have been applied, and there's a crop in there as well. Now, without having to select both images, go back into Adobe Camera Raw copy the settings and apply them to the unedited image. What we can actually do is just simply do that with a few clicks in Adobe Bridge. So if we select the image that has had the edits applied, right click, head down to develop settings and copy settings. Now head over to the unedited image, right click, develop settings and paste settings. You'll see that it will come up with uh, paste camera raw settings options. Just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to select all. But you can, if you like, only uh, select um, the edit settings that you would like to. Uh, so you do have that option to mix it up a little bit. And we're going to hit OK. And we can now see that those edit settings have been applied to the second image directly within Adobe Bridge. This is certainly a way to help um, uh, speed up your workflow process, particularly if you've edited one image and you're like, actually, I want to have a series of images with the same settings applied or the same edits applied. It's certainly a great way to be able to do that quickly, as I mentioned earlier, without having to go back into Adobe Camera Raw and copy and paste those settings, which uh, definitely involves more steps than using this method. So hopefully this video has been helpful. I think anything that helps for you to speed up your workflow uh, with tasks that are, are repetitive, uh, it's a great way to try and look at ways to be able to do that because certainly uh, I would rather be out shooting rather than editing, <laughs> even though the edit process can be uh, quite enjoyable. Thanks again for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, any questions in the comments below are welcome and we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.